Hello, this is Dominating Drew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server on your two wire AT&T UVerse router. This is going to be a direct connect, so you won't need a VPN such as Hamachi or anything like that. And you will be able to just type in your IP address and then be able to connect to the Minecraft server. In the past, I've done a tutorial about how to port forward an AT&T UVerse router. However, it didn't tell you exactly how to make a Minecraft server, so if you still can't figure that out, this video should help you. First of all, you're going to go to the IP address 192.168.1.254. Type that into your web browser just like it was a website, and then click enter. It should bring you to this page here. If it doesn't look like this, or you're not getting to the website, you're probably, you probably have a different router. So make sure, go check and make sure you actually have the regular at and verse router. And then once you're here, click settings tab right here on the top. And then it should bring you to this in the settings page. Then go to firewall, applications, pinholes, and DNZ. And then you should have a screen that looks like this. Once you're here, click the computer you want to host your, host your Minecraft server on. So I'm going to host it on Drew Desktop with this, and then scroll down, make sure this is selected, and then you're going to need to add a new user to find application. Put this here, and then give it a name like Minecraft. And then the port range, you make sure it's TCP 25565, and then 25565. You can leave all this blank and then say add to list. Now it should be on the list right here. Make sure this is selected. Say allow individual applications. And then find Minecraft or whatever you named it. Say add. Now it's going to ask you for a password. It's not the password you used to log into your router. It's a different password, so go look for a sticker on your router. It should say something like the admin code for the configuration or something. It's usually a bunch of numbers. Just type this in and say submit, and it, you should have it port forward now. Now go to Minecraft.net and download the server files. If you want to run a Minecraft server, download this and run it. Say keep. Let it download. It's not too big. Now once it's downloaded, show and folder, it's on the other screen. I'm going to cut and paste it to my desktop. New folder. Make sure you put it in a new folder because it makes a bunch of files. Now it'll open this, paste it in there, and then run it. Run. It'll generate a new world. Now this screen should pop up. Usually it has text here. I'm not sure why it doesn't, but it seems it works. You can see the folder you made. A bunch of new files are in there. So just server properties. This is probably the most important. And you can see if you open up your Minecraft client and then refresh it, and you type in localhost, it should be your server, and you can join that. But if you want to tell, give your IP to anyone else, go to Google and type in my IP, and that's what you give to anyone else so they can join your server. I'm not going to do it there because then you don't my IP. Anyway, now hopefully you can enjoy your Minecraft server, and you can edit this, and then change the settings such as the message of the day. PvP, um, uh, permissions, and the world name, the port, right? build height and everything like that, the seed especially. And then you can play your Minecraft server. One tip though, if you want to not have to have people remember an IP address, go to dot dot tk and you can register a domain name there. I'm not going to tell you exactly how to do it, but you can still register a domain name and then you can give that to people instead of your IP address. 
Anyway, hopefully you liked this video and you found it informative. Consider subscribing if you want more content like this. Thank you.